The history of fake news, all the news that's fit to fake. Recent elections and their aftermath have put an incredible focus on the idea of fake news, especially as disseminated by social media. However, like most phenomena highlighted during the digital age, fake news has a long, infamous history. Terms of service defining fake news. But first off, let's start with the definition. Quote, in its purest form, Fake news is completely made up and manipulated to resemble credible journalism and attract maximum attention and, with it, advertising revenue." End quote. Hunt, 2016. From this, it is clear that fake news assumes a deception. Specifically, fake news is an attempt to graft itself onto the appearance of real journalism to give it potential credibility with its prospective audience. And following this underlying logic, as long as journalism and fact-based narratives have been around, there has been a corresponding trend toward distorting facts towards duplicitous ends. As described by Chang Yan, 2016, an initial shift in the news business really was the genesis for the idea of fake news. Quote, this changed in 1833, when Benjamin Day launched the New York Sun and introduced a whole new business model. He hired unemployed people to hawk his papers on the streets. Day took no subscriptions. He bought and walked. To reach the general public, the paper's focus shifted from opinionated commentaries to gossip and news. Stories needed to be sensational, vicious, and eye-catching. End quote. Shang Yan, 2016. Sound familiar? The Great Moon Hoax. In his 1942 article, Facetious News Writing, 1833-1889, Frank Luther Mott documented the tendency of the penny press to liven up its pages by adulterating the news with pranks, and fancy, all designed to, to sucker gullible readers. Newspapers indulged themselves with massive hoaxes, such as a six-part series in the New York Sun of 1835 about the discovery of life on the moon. In 1844, the Sun published a hoax about a transatlantic balloon sh uh, voyage. Schaefer, 2016. From above, our long and fabled fake news history has evolved, maybe more accurately devolved, into contemporary fakes. For example, Schaefer 2016 details the following examples. Parts of Truman Capote's true crime book In Cold Blood, 1966, are apparently false. Nick Cohn made up the primary figure in a New York Magazine article that eventually became the basis for the, mo the movie Saturday Night Fever, 1976. A writer for the New York Times Magazine made up a trip to Cambodia where he claimed to have spotted Pol Pot, 1981. The esteemed author David Foster Wallace made up details for Rolling Stone coverage of the John McCain um, for President campaign, 2000. Rodney Rothman spiced up a fake story for The New Yorker titled My Fake Job with Imaginary Details, 2000. From this, fake news has been with us for a long time, and it also looks as though it will continue to be with us for an even longer period. Hopefully we can persevere and eventually find a solution. Unfortunately, authors like Laser and colleagues, 2018, do not think we are well equipped to deal with viral fake news versus a solution of fact-checking, which counterintuitively appears to exacerbate the underlying problem. From Laser, 2018, when fake news is fact-checked and misinformation corrected, this repetition of the original lie can unfortunately reinforce the original factual error. As a result, for those who want to foster a fact-based information ecosystem, we are in a bit of a pickle. In short, how do we address the rampant problem of fake news during the social media age?